How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sun Wu, and in this part of the KO2 tutorial series we are going to take a look at some very important functions copy, paste and erase. The first copy function that we can access is copying the current bar of the pattern. We are on bar 1 at the moment. If we want to copy this we press and hold shift and press C once. You can see it showed bar on the screen which means now bar one is in the buffer. And we can use this functionality, for example, if we have a pattern like right now that is only one bar long, but we would like to extend it to two bars. If I just do it like this and play it, you notice there are no drums recorded in bar two. So in order to paste bar one onto bar number two, we got to go to bar two and now paste it by pressing and holding shift and pressing D. And now bar one is pasted onto bar number two. And if we play the whole thing, we got two bars of drums. The next copy function can be done by pressing and holding shift and pressing C twice it shows pattern on the screen. So that means now this whole pattern of two bars has been copied into the buffer. Now I can either manually move to a certain pattern, for example, pattern number nine, and paste it there by pressing and holding shift and pressing D. And now this pattern has been pasted into pattern nine. But I can also do it the lazy way and have the KO2 find an empty pattern for me by pressing and holding shift and pressing A, which means it just found an empty pattern for the current group into which again I could paste the pattern. The next set of copy functions can only be accessed when you're in the sound menu. So we go into the sound menu and select a pad. Now let's copy this sound here to a different pad. Again we do this by pressing and holding shift and pressing C once and it copies the pad. Now we could go to a different group for example and say I want the same sound on this pad up here which currently is empty. Once again, Shift and D to paste. And we pasted the pad here. Now we've got the snare drum on this pad. Another copy function that can be accessed from within the sound menu is the ability to copy all the sounds within a group. So the complete group. Let's go to group A where I have my drum sounds. And in order to copy this group, once again, I gotta be in the sound menu press and hold shift and then press C twice and it copied the group. This would now allow me to paste this group of sounds into either of the other banks or even go to a different project and paste them there. So let's do that. Let's go to project number six and find an empty bank like this one press the sound button again in order to be able to paste them, then press shift and D to paste the group. And now we've got the drum sounds here. Now let's have a look at the erase functionality. This pattern here sounds like complete trash. Let's first of all erase whatever is in group D. We can press erase and hold D and this will erase the current pattern of group D which was pattern 9. So now that pattern is gone. Let's go back to group A where we have multiple things going on. So we've got multiple drum elements playing. Let's say we want to just eliminate one of the drum elements or rather the sequence data of one drum element. I'm going to press erase and hold the pad that I want to delete. And now it's erasing the current track. 
So now the snare drum is gone. I could also erase the kick drum out of the sequence. This doesn't mean that I've deleted the sounds here because the snare drum is still there and the kick drum is still here. I've only erased the sequencer data. In addition to being able to delete tracks and patterns, we can also delete a complete scene by pressing erase and main. And now the scene is deleted. This doesn't mean, however, that the patterns within the scene are also deleted because the same pattern could be used in multiple scenes, so you wouldn't want the patterns to also get deleted. And lastly, of course, we can also erase the complete project by pressing and holding main, selecting the project and pressing erase. And now the project will get deleted. And in addition to doing this without the sequencer running, we can also erase single events of a track. For example, if we have the sequencer running. So let's take these drums. So you can see that you can pinpoint which part of the sequence and which instrument specifically you want to erase by having the sequencer run, holding erase and then pressing whichever pad you want to delete in that moment. Furthermore, we can also delete single sounds of the KO2. If for example, you run out of space, but you want to record more samples, you can look for samples that you don't need on the device anymore and get rid of them. So let's look for a sample. Okay, let's delete this sample here. We can press erase and sound and hold it. And now the sound has been deleted. And this sample doesn't exist anymore. And that's it for all the copy paste and erase functionality on the KO2. If I've missed any, which I probably did, let me know down in the comments. I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more, check the playlist over there or contact me for private online lessons. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Peace.